When Mount St. Helens erupted, the scale of the devastation was incredible. Oh my gosh, this, I, I can't even believe it was 40 years ago. But on that day in 1980, 200 miles away near the town of Vantage. This was spring of my freshman year in high school at Garfield High School. Carmen Andrews was on a field trip. We were packing up to get ready to go, and we didn't realize it at the time, but later realized that we actually heard Mount St. Helens erupt. They began the drive back to Seattle as the sky got darker and darker. They stopped at a lookout where she snapped these pictures, images she'll never forget. First thought we were like in some sort of a sandstorm and then kind of felt the hair on our heads standing up and there was pink lightning that was going kind of horizontally through the clouds, which was a bit creepy. And that's when we decided, oh, we better take a picture and get out of here. And until we get back in the van from after that picture, that's when we heard on the radio that Mount St. Helens had erupted. They ended up stranded in Vantage for three days. Now, 40 years later, she looks back on the experience in awe, one of many people that bore witness to one of the biggest disasters and historical moments in the Northwest. And I can even kind of put myself back there and, you know, that picture when we're on the bluff looking over the Columbia River Gorge, I just, it was so quiet. It was just eerie. It almost, we said it felt like we were back in Land of the Lost. Michael Crow, King 5 News.